Today we're going to replace the rear bumper on a, the first generation Toyota Highlander. Um, this one is the 2005 model. Um, so this is the damaged bumper here. Um, we're going to start off by, of course, you know, shutting off the car. Um, then what we're going to do is, let's see, we'll open the hatch here. Um, I've never done one on this one before, but it looks like we're probably going to have to take a couple of, um, it looks like screws here. Um, and then another screw right over here and probably some clips. Um, looks like there is probably like, looks, there's some clip here and some screws. It looks like these are some hex screws, so you don't need, not sure what size that is. Um, then we're probably going to have to do something from under which is looks like there's a clip down here also so you're probably gonna go down through all the way and it's just similar on the other side um, okay so first let's start off with just the um, we'll unscrew this and um, this here looks like those are only two up on top so now that we took out the screw, um, what looks like what you're gonna have to do is you're probably gonna just need like some little flathead screwdriver and then just pry off this little plastic piece here. So we'll go to take one on that side and then we'll take off the other side too. So I'll just pry it off. Then uh, what we'll do is we'll go to the side. Um, we'll probably just take off uh, this little clip here, probably like a little screwdriver, and then we'll get some um, hex screws here. There's looks like it's three on this side. Well, actually, it might just come off. Um, well, it looks like it might be the mud guards, but it might be holding on to the bumper. But um, okay, we'll just take off those hex. So, for this little clip right here, you probably just need a little flathead screwdriver, just pop it out, just like that. Should come right off. Oops. Actually, I might need two hands. Uh, let's try that again here. Right there. Should come right off. And it looks like it broke, so that's fine. It's plastic anyway. Uh, for these little hex right here, that's going to be a, I believe it's a four millimeter, so you're going to have to take out three. Um, so here's one, two, three. Okay. It looks like you're going to need one more hex. It's all the way bottom here behind the mud guards um, that's the one and then after you take that part off there it looks like it's a Phillips screw right there I'm gonna take that one off too so now we just come to the other side pretty much do the same thing um, then after we do this side right here we're gonna go all the way to the bottom okay so now for the uh, clips on the bottom of the bumper looks like there's gonna be uh, one right here and then another one on the other side next to the exhaust so for these all you're gonna do is uh, you're just gonna stick a little flathead screwdriver in in between here and just pop it right out let me see if I can do this in one hand here okay well maybe I can't do it in one hand oh there we go so once it pops out, and you should be able to just pull it right off. Okay, there we go. Got my camera there. Okay, so and then you do the same for this side. So pretty much stick it in between the little plastic piece right there, and then just spin it. And then we're going to take it off. You're actually not just going to pull off the bumper right there. You're not done yet. Um, what we're going to have to do is there's going to be a four screws in the back here where you're going to have to take off. So what you're going to do is you're going to lift up the spare, uh, take out all the parts, and then here, take off this little plastic piece off here. Put it aside. Then what you're going to do, all you're going to do, there's just two, a couple clips here. So one on each side. All you're going to do is just pull it straight up and off. Oops. And there you go. Now what you're going to do is you're going to have access to these screws back here. There's, there should be a total of four. So there's one, and then there's two, three, and four. So what you're going to do is you're going to unbolt it. Okay, so this is the first uh, nut here. Um, it's going to be a 10 millimeter. 
If you use the deep socket, it's probably be easier. Otherwise, uh, if you don't have it, just use a regular one. But you're just barely gonna hold on to the the nut there. So there's gonna be a total of four again. There's one, two, three, four. So go to each side and just gonna loosen all of those. Now, once you took those four nuts off, um, should be able the bumper should be able to just come right off. So it might get stuck on maybe like some of these little clips on the edge, but you can just pull it right off. That's all that's holding it together. So now you're gonna have some um, of these bolts here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take it from these old one and you're gonna put it into your new um, bumper. So this is our new bumper. What you're gonna do is here's that little piece of metal from your old one. All you're gonna do is just put it sideways just like this orientation and just slide it in and it should clip right in like that. You're going to do it to all four um, parts here. So there's the other two, three, four on that side. And then um, now putting it together is just reversed order. Okay. So what you want to do is once you get all four of those uh, back in, uh, just be careful just in case you drop that little um, that little nut there um, but you're gonna put all four and you're gonna tighten them um, my guess probably maybe like about seven foot pounds maybe but you don't have to put it on that tight um, after that uh, we're gonna put on um, the spare back on not the spare the, the tool for the spare so now you're gonna put it back what you're gonna do is the first thing you're gonna do is you put this uh, the beige part this piece right here first and then you're gonna put the tray back in and then we just close it back right there. Um, we'll snap in those little extra pieces right here. Put it back. Just push it in. Okay, close it. And we're done with that piece now. Um, all we're going to do is we're just going to put all the bolts and uh, clips back onto the bumper. And it should look pretty much back to normal. Except my this color is a little bit off because I bought it pre-painted. For a couple hundred bucks off eBay, so I'm not expecting too much. But um, if it doesn't go in, uh, what you want to do is you want to just like push it in really hard, just and then until it snaps into place. Um, then that's pretty much it. And then if you have mud guards, what you want to do is just put the mud guards back in there too. Okay, um, and that is it.